Hi, this is Heather. Welcome back to my channel. This is a design team project for Ellie Wilder over at LZ Bell's Bookshelf on Etsy. Um, I decided again to use the Catch a Butterfly kit, but this time I decided to make a traveler's notebook size. Uh, the kit does come in both a standard size kit and a traveler's notebook size. And I loved it so much, I decided I wanted to make myself a traveler's notebook insert that I can take with me, uh, so that's what I did. Uh, the kit is gorgeous. It primarily has my favorite colors, which are the blue, the aqua blue in my, and um, this kind of real vibrant pink. And in the background of this video, you may or may not hear um, our snowblower going. We have had a very long, very rough winter here in South Dakota. Um, I believe even they said in February it was the most snow ever recorded in February since they've started recording those things. So I need some bright color in my life and this kit is just gorgeous and perfect. Um, along with the pages that you get for the Traveler's Notebook size, you also get a ton of ephemera. And I did reprint a couple pages of that ephemera so you could take a look here it is so beautiful and bright and there is a ton of content so you get a lot of tags a lot of butterflies that you can fussy cut um, some little floral clip art you name it, it's in there. There's also some uh, envelopes that are sized nicely for the traveler's notebook. Um, and I do include one of those in this one. So we'll put those aside and take a look at the journal. For this journal, I just used some card scrapbook um, card stock. And then I had a little butterfly from just a paper kit that I had. So Put that on the front just tied it with a ribbon because i'm going to be putting this into my uh, traveler's notebook cover that i already have so now open up here and in the front i did do a few little tags here this one's actually like a project life card and then on this tag i did a little bit of collaging and then on the back um it's just the sewing the side so here on this page you can see this is one of the pages from her kit and it is so pretty you guys the blues and the greens and the pinks they just are so vibrant and I just love having them around me so when I'm jotting notes down I have those right there with me and then I have just a little tuck spot here with one of her cards inside. Just some notebook paper. Again, on this page, I've got one of the pages um, from her kit. And then here is one of the envelopes. Now in the regular size Catch a Butterfly, the envelopes are a lot bigger. Um, she has sized those down for this. so. This is what the front looks like and then I just put a little butterfly with a little um, charm there and then I just made a little journaling card to go inside of that and then that just tucks on with a little butterfly uh, paper clip that I have on this page and then in the corner here this is another uh, page from Ellie's kit and in the corner I just did a little collaging um, so that you can have a little fun. I have a couple buttons there. And then when you turn this over, that kind of has a lot of journaling uh, area. I like to use my journals by putting some journaling spaces, but I also like to put pictures in my journals or clip things in. So I try to do a nice balance of both. This next page, I believe that this paper is um digital curio and then this is another one of the pages from ellie's collection and this little 
belly band that I put in also is part of the ephemera. I just put another little Project Life card. This is one of the ephemera pieces from the kit. And this is so pretty, the, the butterfly and everything that's in there just prints up really beautifully. And then I just put some extra notebook paper. Sometimes I have to write notes to myself, so have that as well. Okay, on this side, again, this is one of her pages that are designed in the book. I just clipped on a little butterfly here on a tab on the side. This little butterfly is also in the kit, and I just put one of these little uh, resin flowers that I had. And then this is a little bag here. Inside of that bag, I just have a Project Life card that I kind of built up and collaged on. And then again, this is one of the tags from the kit. And I just love it because it fits in this little pocket, so cute. And then I just clipped on a little butterfly charm. Okay, moving on to the next page. This here is one of the pages from her kit. On this side, I just have a little butterfly. And this, I believe, again, is digital curio paper. This is one of the little tags that you get with the kit. I guess it would be more of a label, not a tag. I just have some lined paper. This is one of her pages, Ellie's pages from the kit. And then on this page, this is a page from the kit. And down here, I just have a little bag with a tiny little one of her tags. And then just another tag that I made from some scrap book paper that I had. Center of the signature. And again, those are both her pages there. On this page, I just added a little um, die cut at the bottom that says fly. One of Allie's again on the left hand side there. Not sure where I got this one. I just had this paper and then I uh, printed Ellie's on the back of that. Again, just some lined paper. This again is one of the pages that you'll get, one of the main pages. And then over here, you will have a little pocket that's in the kit and another one of these little tiny tags, which I'm in love with. I think they're so cute. And I love the shape of those tags as well. This page here is one of Ellie's on this side and then again it was just some paper that I had on this side with a little tag a tab excuse me and a little paper tab and then I've got these this butterfly and some lace okay on this page this is Ellie's and then I've got the other side of that digital curio paper and then I just had a little notepad that I had a, took a sheet out of that and then glued that onto that page. And this is Ellie's again, just some white paper. Part of the Catch a Butterfly kit by Ellie. And then I did leave some pages kind of blank because I wanted to be able to add some things in later. This is another little tag from the kit. They're just so cute. I'll put that in later. Getting close to the end, this is another one of her pages. And then in the back pocket, I just had a little bingo card. And that would be the back. So, thank you, Ellie, for designing such a beautiful kit. Um, I am working on a, another butterfly kit called Butterfly Burst. Um, I'm almost finished with that. So when I am, I will show you guys what that looks like. Um, I will link down below the um, Ellie's shop over at Etsy. And I also wanted to note, if you don't have a printer, Ellie will print out these digital kits for you and mail them to you. So make sure you look at that option over at her site too. 
if you're someone that doesn't like to print or you don't have a printer that you like, you know, the way the quality is, um, definitely check that out as well. So have a wonderful weekend and I will see you soon. Thanks.